Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, today I'll be discussing why the discussion of death is so important. So death is something that we're gonna have to deal with at some point in our lives. It can't be avoided, we are mortal beings as are the ones of those around us. 99% uh, of the time, it's something that we would not even need to consider about because it's so far into the future. A lot of us think, and this is certainly myself, that because there is nothing we can do about it, then what's the point of giving it any thought? We might as well just enjoy the lives we got and not worry about it until it happens. But um, I'm hopefully gonna convince you as to why I think the discussion of it is so important and why we have to talk about these things because it's it's going to happen to us at some point we might as well be as prepared as we can uh, that's exactly why i am studying for a master's in deaf religion and culture um, and i wanted to be able to share that experience with that i've received with you guys i will just say it's very important that you only do this when you are ready it is a very deep discussion um, it's something that even though discussing death will maybe seem important if you're not ready for it don't push yourself into it you will struggle should that be an issue please do you know just take time out and come back to it when you're ready but say for example if you do think oh maybe i'm not ready for the discussion ask yourself well why that being said i will go into a few reasons now as to why i think discussing death is so important the first is a phrase that i imagine a lot of you would have heard and that is you have two lives and the second begins once you realize you've only got one this is something that became apparent to myself more the more i did the study into death but because it's like we're all gonna die, so what's the point? And there seems to be two ways you can do about it. You'd be like, oh, what's the point of putting in effort? I'm gonna die at some point and nothing matters. I find that quite freeing in the sense that if I'm nervous about something or if I've got anxiety or something like that, I do just try and remind myself and I do have a pendant um, which says memento mori on it, which is remember you must die in Latin. I have obviously limited time to spend with not only myself, but with the ones I love. Um, and I want to make the most of it. So it's approaching death in that sense, approaching it to be something that is quite freeing and not something that's quite restricting because as stated, you know, there's nothing we can do about it, it's gonna happen. So we might as well see what we can do with the time we've got. I don't necessarily agree with Ricky Trace on everything um, for, for, for obvious reasons, um, but he did describe this idea very well in the Netflix show Afterlife. I think it was series two, I think. So, so if you enjoy Kevin Hart film, when you're watching it, do you sit there and go, oh, I know this film's gonna end at some point, so what's the point, I'll turn it off? Or do you go, right, actually, I'm, you know, you just enjoy it in the moment, and then when it ends, you might wanna try and watch it again, or you might try and do something else. And that's, I think, a very key approach to be able to discuss, like, explore the subject of death. For me, this changed a lot of my outlook on life. Um, I did admit become a bit more of a risk taker. Um, uh, not necessarily, you know, putting my life on the line or anything, but it was like, no matter what I did, it's not going to matter at some point in time, we'll heal it. So another thing that comes from almost, you have to go through this grief at some point that you almost, you're grieving over the loss of yourself. But one of the great advantages to that is you get closer to knowing yourself. Knowing yourself is something that was outlined by Eliza Wilkins and it was outlined again by Nigel Tubb. And there's eight key elements to be able to know yourself. So for example, these eight are to know one's limits, to know one's place, to know the limits of one's wisdom, know one's own thoughts, know one's mortality, know one's soul, and finally, how difficult it is to know all of these. Those are the eight key elements to know yourself. So as you would notice straight away, there was knowing your limits, and there's also knowing your uh, the fact that you are immortal, that you will be, you know, you're a mortal being. Um, being a mortal being, it's something that will dictate what we do, it dictates what we choose to do, because if we were, um, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson explains this best when he says that if I was immortal, why would I get out of bed? I've got all the time literally in the world to do something, so why would I do anything? To be able to know that our time is limited, it's, motivate. it's the greatest motivator there is. Um, I will do a separate video at some point about knowing thyself, which is increased by death. Um, as it, was, it was one of the essays that I wrote during my course and I did find it extremely interesting. To not fully appreciate your own mortality and your own limitations that immortality brings, because if you have a skill and you want to develop that skill, if you are immortal, you can you have all the time to develop that skill. Like making YouTube videos, you've got between now and the end of time to be able to do that. So why would you bother putting the effort in? So those are two great positives. You've got the fact that, you know, you've got to know yourself. 
a bit more once you come to the grips of the fact that you will eventually die. Um, and also, that's when it starts the second part of your life. You have two lives, and the second one starts when you realize you've only got one. There are a few other advantages to discussing death. One of them is that it's going to happen. There's nothing we can do about it. Right? So, hey, look, if it's coming around the corner, you'd rather be prepared as best you can. So I don't think it is fully possible to be ready for death. Um, even Socrates, who was famously known for having to take poison which to end his life, um, as a punishment by the, the government at the time. He seemed to be quite accepting of his death. He said, why are you sad? You know, don't be sad that I'm dying. This is something that's gonna happen and his soul will live on forever. If you are more prepared than having not considered it at all, you will be in a better position to deal with it once it comes and we will now look at situations as to why that is. I will just say that some people will never sadly be in a position to do this. You'll be out, you know, your life is, you know, busy because you've got commitments that will take you away from considering such um, philosophical questions. I do completely understand that. Um, I would even hope that even five minutes or ten minutes of watching like a video like this has given you enough thought to consider it and that you have got a safe space to be able to do that with other people. But now going on to why um, dealing with or getting prepared as best you can will help you in your life. And the first is you're going to die. You will need to grieve over yourself. The last moments you spend with those you love or on this earth, you, you will be in grief. There's nothing that's going to prepare you, I don't think anyway, for that when that situation comes. But if you almost plan as to what's going to happen to near the, near the time, you can then fully enjoy that plan whilst you have got the limited days left. The one key factor about this that is my motivator is I want my loved ones to also be prepared for dealing with the fact that I will eventually pass. It's the case that when it comes to the point where I am going to have to move on, I would like to know that I've given them the best tools to be able to deal with the situation and just say, look, I'm happy with what I had and this is what's going to happen. Because again, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to happen to them and so many people nowadays try and hide death um, by not looking at it, we barely see it, it only ever happens in hospitals and, and it's something that's not discussed that often. The last key point to why the inevitability of death means that we should discuss it is it's going to happen to your loved ones and you will have to grieve. This is probably the hardest thing that anyone will go through is losing someone that they do love um, and therefore if it's the hardest thing, why would we not try and train ourselves to be able to deal with it? If anything else is difficult in life, we take our time to learn how to conquer the situation. Because a lot of the time we don't think about it, that when it does come, it may be our first um, experience with death. Um, and we haven't been able to discuss it with anyone previously and it may come suddenly and what our loved ones believe happens to us after death it's not the same as what we believe um, if you have for example come to terms with the fact that not only yourself and everyone else is going to have to pass then it may make it easier to have that open conversation with them you know you need to know this is going to happen and by knowing that this is going to happen you're going to know who you are more as a person without going through like a midlife crisis and you'll be able to continue that second part of your life as outlined at the beginning. So with that, I do hope that it gives you a bit more why I think discussing death is so important and therefore why I've decided to make this channel because I've not seen it really be discussed apart from here and there because of the subject matter. I would like to make a platform where people can come and discuss knowing that this is what they're going to get. And by giving you the reasons that, look, it's not as depressing as it sounds. Like every time I explain to someone that I'm studying death as a master's, they go, oh, that's a bit, it's a bit morbid. And I'm like, it, it was, but then once you get past that, um, and again, I'm not saying you have to get past it, I'm not saying that it's possible for everyone, but when you do, or if you do get past it, it can really help you. Um, I'm not saying I am past it, you know, I don't fully know myself as a person, I don't think it's feasible, which again, we will get into that in a later video. But like I said, it has changed my outlook. I do think more about how, what I want to do when I finally have to face that I am going to die soon. I know that I've spent my life considering what I wanted to do, like I won't have any regrets, I would have spent more time with my family, I will focus on doing things that I enjoy um, and not put myself into a position where I am held in a vice by something else, like having to pay for something that I never really needed or needed or only thought I would have needed at the time. So with that, I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope to bring much more of this discussion forward, although into much more specific ideas. 
but this was more just an introduction to what this channel is going to be as well as to again why i think it's so important to have this discussion so whenever you're ready please do subscribe to the channel and come back and see what other videos i've put up that being said as well if you see someone in the comments who's put in an interesting idea please do engage it's what i want to do is create this safe space where we can discuss this subject um where a lot of people do have an interest in it but no one talks about it because they're scared of upsetting people which again it, which is partly the experience i have as well if you did like the concept and you do like this idea you can subscribe please like the video because it will encourage me to know that there are people out there who want to discuss this and that it'll be definitely worth sharing whatever i experience um through not only my work but my studies if you are more interested i will leave links to the videos um, that will best link to the subjects. For example, I will be discussing Knowing Thyself at some point, and I'm also gonna be reacting to a video of a TED talk of Let's Talk About Death. I will link that, so if you are interested, then you'll have the options to go and see those. Um, and if you want to look forward to my videos coming out in the future, you can hit subscribe and then set an alert as well. But apart from that, thank you for watching. Take care.